Hello everybody, I'm Paul Ramsey back with another 2013 NGH convention pre-convention interview and I'm joined today with Dr. Janet Crane who is presenting on the finger focus. How are you Janet? Good morning, I'm great, thanks. So um, some people not may, may not be aware of, what I mean this is yours, right? You developed this, you're not presenting someone else's method, this is your method, correct? That's right and basically seven years ago I had terrible cancer and I went for a lot of chemotherapy at the time it was an experimental drug and during that time I had severe side effects I went for hypnosis to control the nausea and it was amazing however the symptoms of nausea kept coming back to me and I couldn't do any self hypnosis to prevent them and my hypnotist Garrett Butel said well maybe we could use something to get you to focus and that's how the finger focus came about the value of the finger focus is to help you manage your thoughts before all the cortisone sets in before your thoughts get out of control because there's a physicality to this you actually physically can feel it, you can touch it, and that combination of the physicality and the thought control helps you manage those initial thoughts so that you don't head down a bad path. Now being a dentist, I use it in my office because the last thing I want is my patients to get high anxiety. And this gives them the ability to control those emotions quickly. The technique is so easy to learn that it's shocking, but it's so powerful. And my goal during this one hour lecture is not only to teach it to, to everybody that's participating, but have them participate so that Monday morning when they go back to wherever they do, their practice, their clients, their patients, they own this technique so strongly that not only can they use it on themselves, but everybody that they can use that they see that day. Okay, so uh, just uh, you said that wonderfully, but just to really drive it home, I'm going to sort of reiterate and clarify even further. So the finger focus is not uh, a technique which is specifically de designed for cancer patients. That's just the way you uh, initially created it. It has a wider application. Ab absolutely, and it's also not for hypnosis in the in the typical sense where we want to transform behavior. The finger focus is more the first step so that we could manage behavior, manage anxiety. Yes, we can definitely, it can work on a lot of different things, but it's not to take the place of hypnosis. It's the first step. Okay. All right. So, um... From a learning standpoint, we have a lot of different people at different levels of skill and knowledge and experience who come to the convention this year. Um, is this something that you would say people could learn at the earliest stages of their professional development, or is it something that they have to have a foundation of other skills before they pick it up and learn it? Absolutely. This technique is for everyone. It is such a valuable adjunct to anybody's toolbox. No matter what level you're at, this technique is so easy and also it can help you build your practice because you can say to people, let me teach you this. You can do this on your own. When I need to transform behavior, that's when you need a hypnotist with the full skills and full abilities. This is not to take the place of a hypnotist. This is a self-focusing technique. And I really want to make it clear, anybody can do it and everybody should do it and everybody should learn it. Good, good. Well, um... Just, just, I love hearing stories about the way that people implement the things that they use, and I don't want to push you to start giving away the teaching content. Uh, I think people should come to you at this convention for that, but just can you share a story with us of someone that you've used this technique with lately so that we can sort of picture in our, in our minds uh, what the possibilities are? Yes, I can absolutely share the story. A patient was petrified she was 18 years old in college and she needed to come to me and have trigger point injections for muscle spasms that she was having after a car accident. She was so nervous she brought her boyfriend, her mother, her younger sister and a stuffed animal because she was so nervous. 
everybody was like hovering around her and I said okay let's stop for a second let me teach you this powerful technique I will teach it to you not only did she not need all of this um, entourage that she had brought but the next time she came back to do the other side with nothing except herself and she was fine and we had a conversation during the injections yeah. that's how powerful this technique is and she told me how she was using it you know all over the place in different situations because the key is once you own the technique to use it before you go down the bad path where all the cortisone and all those chemicals kick, kick in because then it's hard to gain control this is the first step right yeah I think that's a really important aspect of what you're talking about and and I love seeing um, presentations where that is a key. I mean, I know there's sometimes where presentations have to occur where it's just like a very specific technique for a very specific circumstance, but I love seeing presentations where the presenter is giving someone something that they can diversify and use in a lot of different situations. You know that then, as a person going to the convention, your time has a like big broad payoff you know it's a really it's a really cool thing and this is about the seventh year that I'm presenting this and as I walk around the halls in the convention people always show me their finger because they're always showing me that they learned my technique and people always say to me I use it all the time the most important thing is that you always have your finger with you so you can always use it to get to this point that you don't need somebody else. You don't need headphones. You don't need anything because your finger goes with you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that reminds me. Um, I'm sorry I didn't look this up beforehand. What day and time are you presenting on this? The lecture is on Sunday at one o'clock, so it's right before the end of the conference. So you'll definitely know it. You'll definitely learn it, and you'll definitely be able to use it on Monday morning when you get home. Great, great. That is awesome. Sunday at one. The Finger Focus with Dr. Janet Crane. Janet, thank you so much for sharing this with us, and I hope you have a wonderful convention. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye. Right, you take care.